Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and today I'll be unboxing Takara Tomy's Beyblade Burst. This is B59 Starter, Zillion Zeus IW. I think I've been anticipating this Beyblade much more than Xeno Excalibur, so yeah, this has some pretty new features, and I'll go over them during the unboxing. So here's the front of the packaging. It's B59. It's a nice big Beyblade logo. It's by Takara Tomy. It is a stamina type, right spin, part of the burst and dual layer system. And here you can see uh, two of the parts that are pretty new. Well, all the parts are pretty new, but those are the, probably the most anticipated uh, parts of this Beyblade. So here we have a nice graphic of Zillion Zeus, and this is the owner. His name is Zack, and he is one of the uh, spin emperors in the anime. Here is like a little bit going over the um, dual layer parts and some stuff about the parts itself. Not too much information, but here on the back you get all the information. So we got Zillion Zeus or Z2 for the layer, Infinity for the disc, and Weight for the driver. Here you can see the metal balls inside the layer and some specs about the Beyblade. And this looks like a balance type customization. Zillion Zeus DT, which looks pretty interesting. I wonder if the down uh, disc will cover a lot of the parts of the bulky trans driver. So that's pretty interesting. All right, so that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's get right to unboxing. This is everything you get inside the box. You have your instructions, sticker sheet, just a regular launcher and ripcord, and of course you get your Beyblade. So let's take a closer look at each part. We have the layer, Zillion Zeus or Z2. And for a layer, it is pretty heavy because of the uh, balls on the inside right here. So they are free moving. Let's, like, let's take a closer look at the design of this layer. So you can see the eyes of Zeus right here, and it kind of repeats on the other side. And you have like a Z right here for like aesthetic purposes. And yeah, well this part right here, it kind of looks like a bow. Because I think the actual Greek god uses a uh, bow to shoot down his lightning bolts, I think. If not, I'm probably stretching it, but still, really cool design, really nice sharp edges all around. And here are the two balls that spin. So, well, not spin, but like move out toward the outside. So when this Beyblade spins, it'll move outward, creating like a flying wheel effect and giving it, giving the momentum, um, giving it more stamina. And so when it slows down, it'll come toward the middle and probably give it more of like a defensive type. And here in the middle, you can see the Z right there. And there are some issues with this layer. These contact points, not the Zs, but these contact points right here and right here, they tend to break off. And there are different theories, maybe because it's not, I don't know, reinforced, but to me, on the inside, it looks pretty filled in. It might be because it's like really like sharp, I guess. It like sticks out a lot. Also, the fact that it has metal in it, it makes it heavier, so it has a harder impact when it hits the other Beyblade. And these two are the main contact points right here, so that's probably why it breaks. So, I don't know, making it... Let's see it from this side. Probably making it a little bit shorter, because see how like much it comes out. I don't know, maybe they'll make it shorter. Takara Tomy will probably make it shorter or something, or I don't know, but they do tend to break, which is pretty unfortunate. All right, so here's the underside of it. You can see the teeth right there. I've heard it's really similar to Holy Harusid teeth, and they kind of do look pretty similar to that. Let me just grab Holy Harusid real quick. Yeah, they look 
pretty similar. This is a little, like, I've been using that a lot, so it's a little bit more worn. This is brand new, of course. And yeah, that is Z2. Pretty excited to use that. And here we have the disc, Infinity. So you got I for Infinity there. You can see, like, these long eyes stretched out for also for Infinity. There's a nice view of it. You can see it has, like, a nice, like, not wavy design, but it has, like, wavy slopes, I guess you could say. I think, well, a lot of people are saying that this is designed after the Mobius strip, which I'll show you right here. And that shape kind of looks like the infinity symbol, so I guess that's why they called this infinity. But because of the way it's shaped, it might have some balance issues. As you can see, it slopes upward this way and then downwards this way. Might have some balance issues, but the way I see it, if it's spinning, like a lot of these sharp edges will like cut through the air, so it makes it it might make it kind of aerodynamic, but I guess because of the way how imbalanced it is, it's probably not gonna be as good as it should be. But that still looks really cool. I wonder if this is this would look or I wonder if this would go better with the Quake driver. Make it bounce a little bit better. All right, and last but not least, we have the driver weight the side view. You see these nice wavy designs on the side. And this is the feature right here. It is a metal ball, not free spinning. A lot of people were theorizing that it was free spinning, but it's not. And yeah, so good for stamina, probably better than yielding and revolve. Also, I'm guessing it's called weight because, well, obviously the ball is going to be on the bottom so it keep, kind of keeps it grounded and steady and you can see on the inside there is a little bit more metal in there so hopefully that'll keep it um, like more toward the center of the base stadium so it kind of has has that uh, defensive property there all right so I wanted to compare the layer to other layers like weigh them so I have my scale right here so I got some other stamina type layers we're gonna average out the weight of each of them so here is J2 yeah your are and um, this one is pretty light not the lightest I don't think so it's, this is in grams so that one's eight grams rising Ragnarok seven grams Wow, lighter than J2 holy Fruited. That's 8 grams. And Y2, yeah, 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 just so. So around 7 and 8 grams for a stamina type, but let's see how much um, Z2 weighs. Well, also 8 grams, so it could be a little bit more because this scale isn't quite accurate. It does round up, but let's see how much it weighs with everything. It's a lot of metal in this Beyblade. And it just click, it just click. Pretty decent. 35 grams for the entire Beyblade. All right, so that is Z2. I'll put the stickers on later and let's do a quick Test battle and test spin. All right, first spin test. Three, two, one, go. So apparently, this Beyblade could spin for over two minutes. So it did have like a little bit of a movement because of the metal ball. Has a little bit more surface area than revolve or yielding. And of course, it's going to stay toward the middle when it slows down. So like I said before, it could spin for two minutes, which I don't think I'll test out in this video. I'll probably do a different video comparing it to other stamina type Beyblades. Time for a test battle. Holy Harusid UC versus Zillion Zeus IW. Round one.
polyroosted. First round. Round two. one but holy rusid gets that one again round three round three and I don't know if you guys saw that but uh, you could kind of see uh, Zillion Zeus wobbling a little bit when it was spinning I think it's because of the infinity uh, disc despite seeing reports of broken Zeus layers I still think this is a Beyblade worth picking up all the other parts have really great potential even though that the infinity disc is a little bit off balance it might work well with the quake driver and the weight driver is also really good. The metal ball tip in Metal Fight was really useful, so why not in Burst? It has a lot of stamina and pretty good defensive properties. What do you guys think about Zillion Zeus IW? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to favorite and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with more Beyblade Burst. See you soon. Hey everyone, I really hope you enjoyed my unboxing video of Zillion Zeus IW and I want to say thanks for sticking to the very end of this video and because of that, I am rewarding you with a giveaway. That is right. So if you saw my unboxing preview video, I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep the second Zillion Zeus I had or give it away. So I decided to just give it away because I haven't had one of those in a while. And yes, this is the one I just unboxed and as you could hear, this is a brand new one. There's still tape on this one, so it's not just an empty box. I'm not lying about this giveaway. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is be a subscriber and just let me know what you think about this Beyblade. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What are some combos do you think you can make with some of the parts of this Beyblade? Just anything. What do you guys think about Zillion Zeus? And you'll be entered in this giveaway. And this giveaway ends on October 3rd, so I will be doing a winner announcement on that day. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys soon.